So today we do a different meditation which is called mountain meditation. It's a, like a very popular mindfulness uh, meditation. So in this meditation we normally um, sit down um, either on the floor or on a chair, whatever is comfortable to you and then begin the sensing into the support that you have insert from the chair or the cushion and then paying attention to actual sensation of the contact. So allowing your eyes to close, sit normally, naturally, upright. And finding a position of stability and poise. Upper body is balanced over hips and shoulders are in a comfortable but alert posture. Hands on your lap, on your knees and arms hanging by their own weight like heavy curtains. Stable, relaxed, actually sensing into your body. Feeling your feet legs, hips, lower and upper body, arms, shoulders, neck, head, when you're ready allowing your eyes To close if they're not close already and bringing the awareness to breath. The actual sensation of the breath, feeling each breath as it comes in and goes out, and letting the breath be just as it is without trying to change or regulate it in any way. Allowing it to flow easily, naturally, with its own rhythm and pace. And know that you're breathing perfectly well right now. Nothing for you to do. And just resting in this. Resting with wakefulness and allowing the body to be still, allowing the body to be sitting with a sense of dignity, a sense of resolve, a sense of being complete, whole in this very moment. And with your posture reflecting this sense of wholeness. So holding on to this sense of wholeness, a sense of being complete in this very moment, sitting with a sense of dignity, with a sense of resolve, very still, contained. As you sit here, letting an image form, image in your mind's eyes, image of the most magnificent or the beautiful mountain you know or have seen or can imagine, and letting it gradually come into your greater focus. And even if it doesn't come as a visual image, allowing the sense of this mountain and feeling and its overall shape, its lofty peak, or it may have many peaks high in the sky, this mountain in your mind has the large base 
rooted in the bedrock of the earth's crust. It's steep or maybe gently sloping. Noticing how massive it is, how solid it is, how unmoving it is and how beautiful doesn't matter if you see it from far or up close, this mountain is massive, solid, unmoving and beautiful. So allowing this image to form in your mind. Now maybe your mountain has snow blanketing on its top and trees reaching down to the base. They may have rugged granite sides or there may be streams and waterfalls cascading down. There may be one peak, series of peaks. We could even have meadows and high lakes. So observing it, noting its quality, And when you feel ready, seeing if you can bring this mountain into your own body sitting here. So that your body and the mountain in your mind's eyes become one. So that as you sit here, you share in the massiveness and the stillness and the majesty of this mountain and you become the mountain. This mountain is massive, still, majestic. So grounded in his sitting posture, your head becomes the lofty peak supported by the rest of the body and affording a panoramic view. The shoulders and arms are the sides of the mountain and the base and legs form the solid base rooted in your cushion or in your chair. Thus experiencing in your whole body a sense of uplift from deep within, deep within your pelvis and spine. And with each breath, as you continue sitting and becoming a little more breathing mountain, alive, vital, Continue this with each breath. Continue to be the unwavering in your inner stillness. Beyond the words and thoughts can capture, continue to become centered, grounded, unmoving presence. You just sit here becoming aware of the fact that as the sun travels across the sky, the light and shadows and colors are changing virtually moment by moment in the mountain's stillness and the surface that is teeming with life and activity, streams and melting snow, water flow, plants and wildlife. And as the mountain sits and seeing and feeling how night follows the day and day follows the night, the bright warming sun followed by the cool night sky, 
studded with stars and the gradual downing of a new day. And through it all, all of this day, night and moments and shapes, mountain just sits. Experiencing change in each moment and constantly changing, yet always just being itself. It remains still as the seasons flow into one another and as the weather changes moment by moment, day by day. But this calmness abides all these changes. And mountain just sits, experiencing all these changes. In summer, there may be no snow on the mountain, except maybe in the very top of its peaks. In the fall, the mountain may wear a coat of brilliant fire colors. And in winter, maybe it has a very thick blanket of snow and ice. In any season, it may find itself at times enshrouded in clouds or fogs or pelted by freezing rain. And people may come to see the mountain and comment on how beautiful it is or how it is not a good day to see the mountain today. Maybe it's too cloudy or rainy or foggy or dark. But none of this matters to the mountain. Mountain remains at all times its essential self. Clouds may come, clouds may go, Tourists may like it, may not like it. The mountain's magnificence and the beauty are not changed one bit. But whether people see it or not see it, whether the mountain is seen or not seen, whether the mountain is in sun or in clouds or it's boiling or it's frigid, or it's day or it's night, it just sits by itself. So mountain just remains at all time its essential self. It just sits and being itself, full of resolve, full of groundedness. At times it's even visited by the most violent storms and snow and rain and wind of unthinkable magnitude. But through it all, the mountain sits Spring comes, trees leaf out, flowers bloom, and in the high meadow and slopes, birds sing, and trees are beaming with the life again. Streams overflow with the water, and through it all, the mountain continues to sit unmoved by the weather, by what happens on its surface, by the world of appearances. Mountain continues to remain its essential self through the seasons, the changing weather, the activities. All of these are just on the surface. Through it all, the mountain sits. And in the 
same way as we sit in this meditation, we can learn to experience the mountain. We can embody the same central, unwavering stillness and groundedness in the face of everything. Everything that changes in our life, these changes could be over seconds or over hours or over years. In our lives, in our meditation practice, we experience constantly the changing nature of mind and body and of the outer nature and outer world. We have our own periods of lightness and darkness, activities and inactivities, our own moments of colors and our own moments of drabness. And it's true that we experience storm of varying intensity and violence in outer world and in our own minds and bodies. We are also buffeted by the high winds, by cold, by rain. And we endure the periods of darkness and pain, as well as the moments of joy and upliftment. Even our appearance changes constantly. The experience is a weather of its own. Through it all, the inner mountain just sits and remains its essential self. Continue to sustain this inner mountain like space. Continue to sit here with resolve and dignity, with groundedness, and allowing the clouds of thoughts and emotions and sensations and these words come and go as the mountain sits here, unwavering, remaining majestic, beautiful, strong, without even trying to be strong or beautiful or majestic. Just by becoming the mountain in our meditation practice, we can link up with its strength and the stability and adopt them for our own. We can use these energies to support our own energy to encounter each moment with mindfulness and equanimity and clarity. It may help us to see that our thoughts and feelings and our preoccupations, all our emotional storms and crises, even the things that happen to us, are very much like the weather on the mountain. We tend to take it all personally. But its strongest characteristics is impersonal. The weather of our own lives is not to be ignored and not to be denied. But it is to be encountered, honored, felt, known for what it is and held in awareness. And in holding it in this way, we come to know a deeper silence 
a stillness and wisdom. Mountain have these to teach us and much more if we can let it in. If we can continue to remain mountain like Continue to be mountain in your meditation practice and link up with its strength and stability. And as you sit here with resolve, with ease allowing the thoughts and clouds to come and go, allowing the emotions, storms to come and go, and continue to sustain this mountain-like meditation, mountain-like being, one moment at a time, one breath at a time. And sustaining the strength So if you find that this resonates with you in some way, with the strength and stability of the mountain as you are sitting, and it may be useful then to use this from time to time in your meditation practice, to remind you of what it means to sit mindfully, even with resolve, and with wakefulness, in true stillness. So for a minute or two, continue to sustain the mountain meditation on your own, in silence, moment by moment.
So sitting in mountain like posture and assuming yourself as mountain is in many ways similar to silent illumination or open awareness practice where it provides a framework of strength and stability of your own being. So allowing this to meditation to merge and continue to remain open and aware with strength and dignity and resolve and knowing that it's very natural to you these characteristics of your being are there and they just to be felt and mountain is like a mental exercise to to re-familiarize with the nature of our own being how it remains in all the changes untouched, unwavered, unperturbed with enormous strength and dignity mountain just sits Allowing a smile to percolate from your face to the back of your head, to your neck and throat, to your shoulders and arms and hands, and through to your entire torso, the hips and legs. And the feet whenever you feel ready you gently open your eyes